what does this award 40 under 40 means to you so i think um, you know the industry over the years has been evolving a lot in terms of security in terms of everything else that we do and uh, more often than not you know you tend to just work for the betterment the improvement what you can really contribute for and contribute towards and i think an award like this came as a good surprise but uh, definitely a pleasant surprise it's a good recognition for the hard work that you've put in and uh, more importantly i i mean while i was going through the process of your award and you know some of the interviews something that i'm very passionate about is the future and uh, i think 40 under 40 should soon become a 30 under 30 or maybe even a 25 and under a 25 it's a great motivation i think for people to you know move forward in their careers look at what's next it's a great opportunity can you share a key milestone in a professional journey that led to your recognition 40 under 40 awards so uh, yeah happy to talk about this milestone uh, when I, I was a, i'm an ex uh, armed forces veteran uh, you know and uh, when i came out from the army the thought process the future the career thoughts were all very different uh, this was a time about a good 10 12 15 years ago when you know people didn't recognize security as a great industry and i really didn't see myself coming out into doing something in this line i am an engineer by profession by you know educational background and things like that and till the point of time that I landed into a security consulting firm. And I think the big change for me was that I had the opportunity and probably the courage and willpower to start my own business at the age of 30. And that was a time when I didn't have corporate experience. I had a few years of consulting experience, but the market was great. The support, the, uh, I think the mentorship of all my seniors, and that really changed the entire landscape for me, the focus of what I wanted to do. Uh, that's the transition. So it was a good eight years into business. Now I'm, of course, with another global consulting firm. But I think my transition of having set up my own firm, you know, gone through the grind, seen the industry bottom up, uh, really was my key milestone for my career. So uh, how do you envision the future of the security evolving under your leadership? So something that I've always been an advocate of is that A, security is not a rocket science. It's more to do with common sense. It's practicality. It's how you want to grow bottom up. And no matter what we talk in terms of technology, in terms of AI, cybersec, infosec, physical sec, everything getting, you know, integrated together, I think the focus still re remains on the bottom line, you know, on the foundation stone, the foundation pillars of security. And as long as our grassroots concepts and levels are clear, you know, that's where the change is going to happen. So something that I look and envision in the future is we've got a lot of, uh, you know, advanced studies now coming up through educational institutes and you've got a lot of youngsters who I started my you know, security career at 28 after the army, did my business, started a business at 30. But I'm seeing youngsters now start businesses at 22, 25, right? Fresh out of college, raring to go. And I think that's really the future of security. We have these risk takers who've got the great ability to, you know, measure risk in a calculated way and at times also not care about it. They are more to disrupt. But I think the positive sense that they bring to the industry is the change which is what is required for a dynamic industry like security. So I think that's what I envision for the future that, you know, we're going to keep repeatedly seeing this change. Uh, we're going to see a younger landscape. We're going to see more, you know, confluence of newer ideas and innovation. And I think that's really what the industry is uh, posing for a lot of dynamism. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot for having me. Thanks.